fucking stupid. Hey! 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 Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 136. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we watch... Da-da-da-da! Karis Hell. Karis Hell. Yes. Um... Oh. Brought to us by Silver Spotlight Films. Uh, what, 2016? Yep, 2016, not rated, about 70 minutes about long. About 70 minutes? It was yeah. just the right length, a little hey. over an hour? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, this movie was directed by Steve Radzinski. And starred Steve Radzinski. Yep, and my buddy Ben Deedles. Ben! Um, Steve Rimpici. <laughs> and Haley Madison. You know, every time you say Haley Madison, I thought you were saying Bailey Madison. Uh, <laughs> no. And I was like, I don't think she's old enough to get her boobs out. She is now. Is she now? Yeah, she's is like she 19 old... or 20 Is now. she really? Yeah. To, to me, she's oh. always that little girl. I know. I, I can't see her as hot because I see her as Snow White. Right. You're hot, but... Mm, you were a little kid. I still see you as that little girl, and now I feel like my boner's awkward. <laughs> Ooh. So, what was this movie about, Ross? It wasn't about <laughs> awkward boners, for so, the most part. <laughs> for the most part, right. So, Karis Hell. Awkward boners. <laughs> there was some awkward stuff, for sure. So, Karis Hell, not Carousel, Karis Hell. Hell. Uh, basically, about this uh, Carousel unicorn ride horse thing. Mm -hmm. Gets pissed off mm -hmm. and comes alive. And uh, wants to kill people. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Really, he only wanted to kill the one kid. Everyone else just got in yeah. his way. Yeah, because the kid yeah. was a dick. They went out fucking lunchbox. Had lunchbox. Coming. So, that's all you really need to know. Pretty simple, straightforward plot. Let's see if, uh, I don't know if you can see. Read that. No. Okay. Probably not. Probably here. not. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> what did we like about this uh, stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I like this movie. I like this movie a lot. It was <laughs> ridiculous. And, and it was... So fucking hilarious. Yeah. I loved it. The, I have not laughed this hard in years. The pure ridiculousness of this is fantastic. Uh, do you like my handlebar mustache? I do. It's also recoculous. So, yeah. The, I mean, this is one of those movies that you know what you're getting into. Uh, well, you should. I mean, yeah, if, you, if you didn't. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Can you imagine picking this up thinking, oh, this looks like a really good, you know, solid horror I'm movie. scared of carousels and, and, and you horses. You get like five minutes in and you're like, what the, the fuck? Yeah, no, you, it's a certain <laughs> mood you gotta be in. But it was hilarious. This is a movie you need to see with friends. Yes. Yes. I mean, I would have enjoyed it on my own, but it was better watching it with I, you. I wouldn't have laughed nearly as hard no. if it wasn't for every now and then I look over and you've got this like... Yeah. And I and do likewise, too, and we're both just like... And the, yeah, so many WTF moments, just like, what the, but then you laugh, and that, it succeeds in it, that. You can't help but laugh at this movie. It it's was really funny. Good. I mean, it, the jokes, I mean, they're goofy and they're stupid, but they're, uh, that's what it's supposed to be. Queer? Self-aware. Oh! Self, the, oh. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? This movie was very queer. It was very queer. Yeah. Uh, it was very self-aware. Yes, no, it was. It, it knew what it was. Steve Rezinski, I mean, he, he was one of the, ended up being one of the lead people in the movie, and he knew what he was, he was doing directly. He knew what he was getting and, into at this point. And you know, I, I have to say, just, I want to pull out a little bit, because he was my favorite part of this movie, oh, the pizza too. guy. He Hands was down. absolutely the best. Usually when you have a director, writer-director who's also the star of the movie, or one of the stars, it's never, it's, it's not a, a good sign. It's a red flag a lot of times. But, dude, he nailed it. I don't know who his DP was taking care of the camera work, but that DP deserves a raise, too. Yeah, Because yeah. he did, a uh, he or she did a fantastic job. Especially considering what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did a good job with that. And, and it definitely makes me want to see whatever else he's done. And I know he's been in a lot of other indie movies that I've probably I'm, seen. I'm going to go look for more of his movies when I leave here. Yeah, one of one of the other movies he directed was uh, Everybody Must Die, which oh. I definitely want to see now. Um, but it was very self-aware, and I love that. Yeah. Had it been a serious movie, it, it would have It wouldn't have worked. No. You know, one thing both of us liked, and we commented on it super early on, the effects were all practical. Yeah. Or they looked like it, at least. There might might have been, there was like one or two where it was like, ah, that might have had a little scene right. to touch up. But, but overall, this was practical, and they were almost all really good. It was yeah. super, super it was gory. It was a lot yeah. of gore, which made me happy. Oh, you were so happy. I was happy. I oh. had an awkward boner. You, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Numerous times in this movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm glad the lights were off, Adam. <laughs> me too. Um, yeah, <laughs> and the makeup, you know, was pretty good. Yeah, for the you most know, part. I mean, yeah. it wasn't, I mean, it was indie, of course, but you know... I've seen worse. Oh, we've seen much worse from much bigger worse. budgets than this. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, 
I was happy with the that. The makeup crew did really good too, or the effects crew yeah. did really good too. Right. Everyone did really good on this movie. They did. They worked I, well together. Like I want to meet all of the people involved in this movie and just high five them and be like, boom, you and did hug good. Them. Boom, you did good. Yeah. Oh, you had nice tits. <laughs> boom, you did good. Speaking of, there were bubs in this movie. There was. There a were a couple, couple of sets. Yeah. yeah. Some of them better than others. Uh, Haley <laughs> Madison shows up. There's not Bailey Madison. Haley, Haley Madison. Madison. Yeah. Not yeah. Bailey Madison. Yeah. Which she's been in other indie horror too, and I've always enjoyed her. So yeah. and, and she's she's cute. She was a pretty good actress too. Yes, I mean, oh, yeah. boobs and looks aside, she was actually a really good actress. Right. So, right. Um, kind of go, you know, uh, along with the gore and stuff. There's a lot of kills. There were the a body lot of count kills. was there huge. Was, what, what were they like? Twenty three, twenty four, something Probably, like that. I was trying yeah. to keep a count. Yeah, and there were some <laughs> some really silly, <laughs> but they were awesome. <laughs> And uh, it was fun. I mean, you get pizza cutter kills. You get the pizza cutter kills. Oh my god! <laughs> you get now. Obviously, percent. someone got killed with the unicorn horn at of some course. point. Yeah. But most of the kills didn't involve the unicorn horn. Yeah. They were things machete. like a unicorn picking up a machete or an axe Beatings, or yeah. a was... gun or <laughs> <laughs> arrows. It was and not you know being impelled by the unicorn ho 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 horn isn't the only thing that happened. No. Um, <laughs> Someone got killed by a flamingo. A <laughs> flamingo. Right. I forgot about a that. A pink plastic flamingo. Two of them. Did. That was great. Uh, <laughs> a yard flamingo. I like the characters. Uh, the characters were great. They were yeah. so goofy. Especially the pizza guy, uh, Joe. Dude. Which... Do you have any sausage pizza? Uh, no, nobody ordered a sausage pizza. I mean your penis. Was there pizza with my penis on it? No. Seriously, you watch this movie for him. If for nothing else, oh, watch dude. it for him. He was great. Yeah, it was, it was just highly entertaining. And you know that most of the characters are. I mean, there wasn't really no development. No, I mean no. it wasn't really called for that. Uh, it, who it, cares? Who gives a crap? Yeah, this kind of movie you don't need it. You're no. just in for the goofy fun. I think the most character development came either with the pizza guy mm -hmm. because he found out he has a backstory, or the mom who was in at the beginning right. and at the and end, the end yeah. and nothing else. Right. It was just silly, <laughs> silly, silly stuff. It was, I, it was a super cheesy movie. It, oh. Like the pizzas themselves. Right. This movie was covered in cheese. Yes. <laughs> this is very true. Oh. Ah. Hey. It was about a killer unicorn. And I don't think we've pointed that out enough. This movie was about a killer unicorn. And not just a killer unicorn, a carousel plastic whatever it is or whatever they're made of unicorn they didn't know either they no. were like wood or plastic or whatever it is and probably it, fiberglass probably most likely yeah and it talked yes and it, <laughs> but it didn't move no. which was the best part because they had an actual carousel <laughs> unicorn that could not move <laughs> but it was floating through the air <laughs> How they did that though, and edited it to make it look like it was actually doing that was hilarious. It was pretty good, yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, you know, the, and the acting for what it is, they are great. I think they did what they needed to do perfectly. Yeah. But I think that goes hand in hand with the writing, which was really, really good. Exactly. They're um, doing what they're supposed to do, and it's intentional, and it's the, yes. you can tell they're having fun, and that's a win. Intentional. I think that's the biggest part. Right. They were intentionally funny, and intentionally bad. Right. Uh, I want to have a special little mm, tete a tete here, just just you, me, and, and the camera, <laughs> about the sex scene in this movie. I don't think it's <coughs> ever been done before. That was the most awkward boner I think I've had since high school. <laughs> I've never wanted to be a plastic unicorn before. Man, if, I I wish I was. If that scene doesn't get you hard, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I think even there were some stiffs getting stiff. <laughs> Despite you know the goofiness of that, it was shot pretty well. The quality was yeah, it was pervading. really well done. I don't know the budget, but you know it was obviously Five. in any movie. <laughs> so what didn't we like? You know there really wasn't much. Uh, mainly nitpicking uh, the sound clipped sometimes. Yeah, when he the one guy started shouting. Yeah, it yeah. would clip a little bit, but that you know I mean for for what it is that you expect that. Yeah, there, um, were, there were some editing issues, just little things like the uh, scenes that weren't in focus all the way, and uh, like in the beginning. Uh, I noticed it. I don't know if you picked it up, but when they were walking, like the camera would actually shake, like like that. Right. Uh, and on this, it's expected we're a YouTube show that two people watch. Right. <laughs> and I'm not one of them. <laughs> um, 
But on a movie like this, it's like they should have, you know, secured that. But that's, I mean, fuck, we're talking little shit. Well, this isn't anything it big. It doesn't take away from the movie or anything. Um, the, the fucking, the kid, Lunchbox, Lunchbox. Oh, he got on both of our nerves. We were both yeah. just like, oh, shut up, kid. <clears throat> right. You, you know, I mean, he's a kid. What do you expect? He probably hasn't acted. In it. I mean, it wasn't horrible. I mean, the kid in the Babadook was ten times oh, worse. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm but, not sure still if it was the kid or the way he was written. I don't know why. Yeah. Because he might have been doing exactly how it was True. written. I don't know. He was just, he annoyed me. Yeah. He, just, yeah. Eh, he had to be there for and, the story. But. And now here's the thing. This is just me. I don't know if you even noticed it. But one of the kills where the French chick, the French... French because she's from Canada, <laughs> right? But where they kill the Canadian chick, uh, he the it rips the throat open, and you could really you could it looked like they just took and slapped a piece of latex on. They didn't yeah. blend it at all, so it was like this white. She was like super tan and then white, and uh, the it stood out because everything else was so good. Yeah, I didn't notice it as much until you yeah. mentioned. It. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I can see it. I, I noticed it a lot. Only because everything else was so fucking good. Yeah. Like, the kills were all so well done otherwise. Right. Yeah, overall, it's, it's done very well. And, 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 I mean, that's not the kind of thing that's... It took me out of the movie for a second, but right. it's a fucking movie about a killer unicorn, so but, it's not like I was super invested. Yeah, they make some dumb joke, yeah. and they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. So that's, I didn't even put on here that I love all the Canadian jokes. Right. <laughs> Like, they built him up, they were like, oh, we're the French people, oh, you know, we're the French, and, and they were like, we've never been to France, we're Canadian, you right. racist assholes. <laughs> Fuck, dude! Yeah. It was great! It was, it was, it was... The brother-sister incest, I would put that under the dislike, that's a little creepy. That was a little weird. But it was funny. But it was funny. It was really funny. <laughs> So, that's, oh, that's, fuck, man. that's about it. Yeah. I mean, there's, seriously, there's... Go get uh, this movie and watch it. Just, fuck, you know, if you like us... Right. Go get this movie and watch it. And again... Support indie horror. Yeah. We cannot stress that enough. You know, go check out uh, Steve Rudzinski um, and, and Ben Deedles. Yeah. They're, ben Deedles, uh, good buddy, he directs uh, horror movies too. One called Slaughter Drive. Yeah. Check it out. You can check them both out. I'm going to shout them out right now. Perfect. Go check out Steve Rudzinski on Instagram, at Dark Mullet. Woot! Yeah. And tell him uh, he's awesome. Tell and, him Stupid Movie sent you. That's right. And same, go check out Ben Deedles at Ben Deedles yeah. on Instagram. He He's uh, he's awesome. I've talked to him. Tell him we sent you. Yeah, and they, they appreciate it when uh, us nobodies support indie horror. That That's the biggest thing. Um, when you support indie horror, you aren't supporting Steven Spielberg getting another swimming pool. Right, exactly. You're supporting people like this so that they can make just enough money to yeah. do another movie. Exactly. Not enough money to eat. Or right. to turn the heater on right. for the winter. Just enough to do one more movie in the hopes that something good is going to come out. Yeah, and that's what we want. That's what you we know. all want to see. All, you know, so we help them as much as we can. Also, so. I'm sorry, Steven Spielberg, I didn't mean to insult you. You're a great director. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's just, I would much rather support indie horror. Right. Yeah, Spielberg has plenty of money. Yeah. They, they're they're horror fans, and they do it for horror fans. Like so high five, Steve. High five, Ben. <sighs> So, you support them. Um, <laughs> you can check us out at... Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Or on Instagram at... At Stupid Movies. At Horror Punk. At Dr. Sketch Turner. We haven't given a final review for the movie yet. That's right. Fuck! <laughs> Did you just puke in your butt? A little bit. Oh. Um, so... All that being said, Rob, what did you think of this movie? I absolutely had fun with this movie. I loved it. I knew what I was getting into. I bought the Blu-ray. I suggest you find it and do the same. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to give it 7.2 out of 8. Hell yes. That's phenomenal. Yeah. For, a, for an indie movie, this oh, is... Oh. I cannot tell you how much fun I had with this movie. I, I came into it looking to laugh and... Oh. I, I barely stopped laughing through the movie. I mean, there were times we had to rewind a couple of fifty <laughs> times so, so that we could hear a scene again because it was so yeah. fucking funny. Was, was there pizza with my penis on it? Um, so I, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 8. This was great. I love this movie. I'm going to watch it again. Hell yeah. And Absolutely. I don't do I that very it. often. No. Yeah. I'm going to steal it from Rob when he's not watching. <laughs> and then he's going to have to buy another Blu-ray. Damn. Hey, that's all right. Support any horror. horror. What? What? I feel like we didn't do something this week. 
We talked about the movie. Yo! See you next week! <laughs> there was no point where it felt like the humor overstayed its welcome. We never turned the light on. Oh, balls!